to eat carbohydrates or not? It's the question people ask all the time. And in this video, I'm going to show you evidence that a carbohydrate rich diet will slow your metabolism. So maybe that'd persuade you towards not? Well, let's see. The data I'll be showing you comes from a study wherein the researchers wanted to find out the effect carbohydrates have on our metabolism. So they recruited hundreds of participants, men and women in their late 30s and all overweight. Then they had all the participants undergo weight loss that led to them losing at least 10% of their body weight. After weight loss, they were introduced to eat enough to maintain their new body weight and randomly assigned to one of three groups. A low carbohydrate group, a moderate carbohydrate group, and as you can probably guess, a high carbohydrate group. Protein was fixed at 20% and carbohydrate percentage went from low to high, 20, 40, and 60% of their nutrition. Taking measures before the start of their respective group diet and then again 10 weeks into their respective diets and then a final time at the 20 week mark, the researchers then compared these people's metabolisms over time and by carbohydrate amount. Okay, so hopefully we're clear on the study design and if not, check out the study and my attached notes for clarification. Now, in measures of total metabolism, which accounts for resting metabolism, physical activity, and the thermic effect of food, so essentially how much energy is used to break down food, the results are fascinating. As you can see, according to both analyses, one being the intention to treat, which means they used what data they could from participants that did not finish all the measures in the study versus the more rigorous analysis, the per protocol analysis, which analyzes only those that finished all the required measures, both analyses show an increase in metabolism when consuming fewer carbohydrates, as you can see with the purple line at the 10 weeks that persisted at the 20 weeks, meaning that there's a long-term effect. Beyond that, however, in the per protocol analysis, there was a reduction in metabolism when consuming more carbohydrates, as seen by the pink dashed line. Again, this persisted over the 20 weeks. Now, the estimated increase in total metabolism was, by the more rigorous method, the per protocol analysis, about 175 calorie boost in total metabolism by reducing carbohydrate intake to only 20% of one's diet. The consumption of 60% carbohydrates in one's diet led to a 100 calorie reduction per day. All right, what part of that total metabolism decreased of the three components, so physical activity, resting metabolism, and the thermic effect of food? So it turns out that the two tested, physical activity and resting metabolism, were not different between the groups. So does that mean that the thermic effect of food is increased by a low carbohydrate diet? Well, possibly, although we have no real proof here. However, it is also possible that the study was underpowered to statistically tease out the changes in these two measures. So either way, one or multiple components change between a high carbohydrate nutrition and a low carbohydrate nutrition. This research shows that increasing carbohydrate intake slows our metabolism slightly, but even more striking is that of the opposite. So reducing carbohydrate intake speeds up our metabolism by a hefty amount. This data suggests that for a faster metabolism, you should consume a nutrition style that is low in carbohydrates. However, there is a caveat to this story. There's a test that you should run on yourself because for certain individuals, these results may not apply. And for other individuals, they may apply to an even greater degree. So to find out, simply move on to the next video and we'll peel back another layer. Speak to you then.